Hi everyone, I'm Mariana. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So this weekend is opening weekend of rifle season for deer and bear. So I came up to an area where I have not hunted before. In fact, I haven't even been here before. But I brought a friend with me who has been a very successful hunter in his area. He hasn't been here either. So we're going to see how it goes. So this is Paul. Hi everyone. Paul is going to talk to us about a few aspects of deer hunting. Number one is hunting in an unknown area. What are the things you can and should be doing before and during your hunt to increase your chances of success? Number two, choosing your location based on elevation, weather, vegetation, the different signs of the animals, and other things. Number three, why it is better to stay put instead of moving around on foot or especially driving around in your chosen area. And finally, he's going to clear up a common misconception about hunting only in the morning and the evening hours and avoiding the midday hours. Try to find open areas of uh, clear-cut forest and uh, hunt those areas. In the morning time, a lot of times we try to uh, come back to camp after 9 or 10 o'clock. A lot of times over half the deer that I've killed or harvested are, have been uh, deer that have been bedded down. So don't underestimate uh, looking into shade pockets, covering all areas. Glassing for hours is the key and staying in one place. You'll see more animals moving uh, with that dynamic than you will uh, any other uh, hunting tactic. This morning uh, our hunt was for deer and bear and uh, we hunted lower elevation. Uh, we walked about eight miles, looked at a lot of open country. Elevation was about 4,800 to 5,800 feet. Uh, we didn't see any sign. Seen some beautiful country, beautiful open areas and uh, sat and glassed and just inspected the area. There was plenty of water but the animals just weren't there so uh, we're gonna park the vehicle and go over the summit um, over into some areas that are remote and just uh, post up for the evening find a canyon open area it's very dense forest here in Huntington area So it's late in the afternoon uh, this morning. We decided to go to the higher elevation. Uh, so we took a trek up to a basin about 9,000 to 9,500 feet. Uh, never been in the area, I've seen it on Google Earth. We'd used all of our resources to try to capture uh, the whole entire area. Um, it was the first time for me, so to break it down, we just started uh, looking around in the area at 9,000. Discovered there was a lot of hunters up in that area. Um, that could be a good thing and a bad thing. So we just decided to use that uh, for our advantage and talked to some people and uh, took some separate roads, found some beautiful views, some, some beautiful high country areas. Stopped and glassed those areas. We didn't see any deer, but you know for the limited time that we had in the higher elevation 
Um, we did see a lot more deer sign there, which proves that the deer are probably at a higher elevation at this time of year because of the heat index we had in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, 40 to 50 days at triple digits. So they're, the deer are probably in their summer range at this point, which is high altitude between 9,000 to 10,000 to even 12,000. So with the limited access of us having only a vehicle on our feet and so much time, um, we took advantage of whatever we could. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. I know I've learned a lot. In fact, next weekend, I'm going to come up here to the 9,000 feet elevation and I'm going to hunt by myself. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we're confident that after watching this video, the information shared that you'll be a, a greater success in an area that uh, you've never hunted before. And we just wish you happy hunting 2018. And good luck to you this season.